Hi everyone, Rory from Data Spinners, TDG and Power Addicts. Today I am going to show you how to use the, uh, the uh, formula Choose Columns. It's uh, kind of useful. Uh, I don't use it that much, but I guess if you want to bring less information into your, um, if you've got it connected to a table with lots and lots of fields and you only want, say, three of the fields, then choose columns is quite uh, a good way of doing that. And I guess what that does mean is you've got a slightly more efficient app. So when you're building, you know, production type apps, if you want to just really make sure the speed is absolutely what you need, then, then this is a good way of doing it. So let's now switch over into the, uh, the demo. So here I am and I'm in SharePoint <clears throat> uh, uh, and uh, you can see that we've got uh, a number of columns here, year, vision, execution, provider. It's to do with the Gartner survey, to do with vision and execution and so on. Um, and what I'm going to demonstrate is I've already connected to this data set. So what I'm going to demonstrate is the way in, uh, the, the different effects of the way in which we can use choose columns. So if we uh, go back onto Power Apps, then what we can do is I've got a, a button to do a collection which collects this, this Gartner data. So let's just jump on to, um, in fact, just to, I'm going to move on to the collections. There's Cole Gartner. We'll have nothing in there at the moment, but check out how many fields there are. So uh, if I go on to hit the uh, play button and then click co uh, collect Gartner, and then we move on to the collections, uh, which is Carl Gartner then what we can see is we brought an awful lot of information uh, and certainly in terms of how I use this the, the only I only need uh, maybe ID execution provider um, and there's completeness there's vision there as well so so the idea with that is that instead of instead of doing that what we can do is we can bring in less columns so and there's less data and so on so here's the formula for that so just just to reiterate uh, what we did initially was clear collect into col gartner gartner being this um this uh sharepoint list here uh, and it's deliberately did sharepoint because it's got lots and lots of extra things that you don't actually need um so this is um uh, so this is the um this is the uh, version where you just show the columns so um, what I'll do is I'm just going to click the go button and what we'll do is we'll run all the way through the um, we'll run all the way through um, pre preparing this but I'll just show you the effect so it's clear collect Carl Gartner show columns and then it's show columns and we've got we should have ID vision and execution um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go on to there and click the button on that and then if we go on to the um, onto the collections, what we'll see is on Cole Gartner show columns, we've now got a much, much thinner um, table of data. So it's exactly the same table of data as we have here, but this time we've only got, uh, we've got extra, uh, rather we've got a lot less fields. So, I mean, you know, this this is quite detailed. You go right into um, into all these things. So you've got to be quite careful with, with how you use them. Let's have a check at this. There's me there. Um, so, uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to actually, uh, I'm going to build the statement again. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do another button. Um, so I'm going to copy and paste that button. But what I'm going to do is I will do the formula from from the get go. So I'm going to go clear, collect, and uh, call Gartner, and I'm going to call it um, simplified. Um, okay, so that's my collection name. And into that collection, what am I going to put? Um, I'm actually going to put choose columns. So choose columns. Now, have I done this right? No, it's actually show columns. I don't know why I always I always think of sh uh, choose columns. So it's actually show columns. So it's show columns. 
And what are we going to show the columns? We're going to show the columns from the list, which is called Gartner, Gartner, which is going to pop up there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tell it the columns that we're going to do. So I'm going to say, I know we've got execution, execution, comma, and then we're going to have, uh, there's vision, uh, that's another one. And notice they've got the quote marks around them. It's just something to be aware. I've always found it a bit peculiar, but that's how it is. Um, ID is kind of handy to have on these things. Uh, and then I think the provider was another one. Provide, provider. Um, and then I can close the brackets. That's closing the brackets on the show columns. But in order to con complete this statement, we have to do the um, we have to complete the brackets on the clear collect, and at that point um, we should be all kind of good to go. And there we are, we're good to go. So um, so now what we can do is I'm not going to press the button uh, just yet. I'm going to go on to file, then I'm going to go on to collections, uh, and there's Carl Gartner simplified. And so there you can see our uh, we've got our four columns that we we need here uh, and what we can do now is we can uh, we can then click the go button on that um, I'm not going to jump into um, the the collection on this occasion what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert I don't normally do data tables but they're kind of handy sometimes so insert uh, where's the tables um, There we are on the right hand side. Uh, insert data table. And then it's going to ask me what I want to do. And my data source is going to be Coal Garner Simplified. Then it's going to ask me the fields I want. Um, and I'm just going to click them all um, and demonstrate that this thing uh, actually has some data in. So I'm just going to move this around a little bit and um, move you across. Um, and they're always a bit tricky to actually select the um, the table itself, um, but there we have it. So there's the um, show columns um, on uh, the Gartner columns there. So you can you can actually with the data table you can look through all of the the data, which is quite nice. Um, actually, I think year is another one. So why don't we why don't we kind of move back to this and then go OK on that and we can go show columns. And then on here, we can actually uh, I think year. Uh, yeah, year is another column that we can actually bring in and click the OK button on that. Then I'm going to um, press the play button can be a little bit strange. The um, the data table um, because uh, it just it can be just a bit odd. Um, so let's see if that field has come in. It hasn't. Uh, do you know it's not the first time this has happened. But if I was to, it's it's really silly. But if you can kind of click off it and then you kind of click back onto it again, what you'll find is that field will become available. So I can then just click and um, all of those um, items there. It's it's a peculiarity of the. Um, of the data table that it doesn't really work out that another field has um, come into play. I suspect that if you close the app and then reopen it again, then you'd be OK. So um, there you have it. I think what I'll do is another little experiment just to see. Um, it's not something I mean, as I say, I don't use this an awful lot. Um, but sometimes what you might do is you might not want to put it into a collection. You might just want to go straight in there. So what I'm tempted to do is instead of having uh, this data table, let's let's do a little um, experiment where we go in and we're going to do items um, we're going to do show columns. Um, and it's going to be Gartner um, and then we're going to tell it the columns that we want and it, you know so we didn't even need to do a collection so if you were just pointing a very large data set maybe that would be the way in which you would um, way in which you would do it um, so we can do ID uh, and then year and then uh, I'm not going to do one more uh, I'll just do vision on this one vision uh, and then it'll obviously get upset with me because some of these fields and look at that it's oh there you are it does, did actually work which is quite nice and so if I go on to the data table and then go on to the fields this one this time has actually come in correctly I think it's probably because I changed the nature of what was going on there so um, so we can see that 
we did use a collection because it was easier to to demonstrate but actually you know we could have just just gone for a straight show columns here and it's it's a much thinner arrangement from a data perspective um, so as i say it's it is worth just returning to that idea of just how much less we're bringing in and um, because if we go to the original show columns actually it's not that the original Gartner thing you know you've got a lot of you know there's a lot of columns and there's a lot of things inside those columns so you've got this thumbnail here um, and there may not be anything in them but um, it depended on your data set you may have brought in much more information than you needed to so thank you for sticking with me on this and um, i'll be going into further detail on this idea of columns and so on so make sure you subscribe and um, like it got any comments please let me know and um, other than that have a great time thanks bye